Joining us now with her take on the state treasurer's decision to divest from companies that sell or manufacture assault style weapons is Christy Scott, owner of Battleborn Ammunition and Firearms in Carson City. Christy, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So Christy, the treasurer has divested from the large publicly traded companies that sell and manufacture these assault style weapons. One might think that that would not have an impact on a smaller family owned business like yours. How true is that? It completely has an impact on my business. Anytime someone uses their political office and it frustrates me because this is a the treasurer's office is supposed to operate on facts and it's a nonpartisan office. But anytime someone very publicly divests from, and I'll say assault style weapons, it, it puts a dark mark on us as if we are trying to sell these firearms and everything else to harm people. When the fact of the matter is, if every person that owned an AR-15 tried to do something illegal, it, the country would know it. There are probably trillions of these firearms in the hands of the public. If you take the percentage of times those guns have been used in a mass shooting and compare it to the number of those firearms that are actually in the hands of law-abiding citizens, you find it's a very small amount. Uh, back to how it affects my business, in the last five years, the anti-gun industry and I'm gonna call it an industry because that's exactly what it's turned into be. They have put many, many businesses out of business because we can't get the banking. We have Chase Bank that won't come near any firearms businesses. There are numerous other lenders like Cabbage and other places that will not loan money to any firearms businesses. So this is just one more chipping away at that second amendment right that we have that is going to affect me ultimately quite a bit and these companies well that you're trying to get loans from for example they must view gun companies now as financially risky and that's why they're not willing to work with you which would lend itself See, to the state the treasurer's argument mm -hmm. well I have yet to see the numbers. He says financially risky, but what is he talking about? Who is he, I mean, what numbers can he come up with that show that gun businesses are a risk investment? Because I've got an economic impact report from the National Shooting Sports Foundation that shows the number of guns, the number of money that we put into the state's coffers and the national coffers every single year uh, because of the law abiding citizens that love to use these firearms. I have one myself. They're used in a competition called a three gun competition. They were not designed just to kill people. I don't know anybody that owns one or anyone that I've sold a, an AR style firearm to that has purchased it because they want to kill someone. You That's, don't personally to me, a ridiculous assumption. You don't personally know, you don't personally know them, but it does seem to be the choice weapon for mass shooters. Why are you I not, disagree. You disagree. Why are you not willing to give up an AR-15 and support that ban? You use one personally, you said. I because it's my right to own it. Why am I not willing to give it up? I'm not going to harm anybody with my firearm. And what drives me crazy is not once have I heard him talk about the shooter himself. Not once. He's talked about the bad gun, but somebody has to operate that firearm. I, I deal with hundreds and thousands of people that come through this store every year. Not one has ever said to me or even intimated that they wanted to use that firearm in a crime. Christy, one if last- they start one last question, because we are running out of time. What is business like for you right now? What is it like to be a gun store owner in this climate? It, it's rough in our economy. When gas is above $6 a gallon, people don't have money to do any of their recreational activities. Shooting a gun is one of the few activities that you can do that you have to focus on shooting the gun and you can't think about what's going on at home, what's going on at work or anything else. It's a very stress relieving thing to go out and shoot. And I will pretty much guarantee you that Mr. Conine has never shot an AR. Christy Scott.
owner of Battleborn Ammunition and Firearms in Carson City. Thank you for your time.